Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about the TOEFL test. As you know, I took it back in 2015 and this is how I started my channel. After I took my test, I was like, oh my God, I want to share my experience. I want to share how it went. And five years later, I took the TOEFL test again. It was a slightly different test because they've changed some things and I'm gonna talk about them in this video. And also they've introduced the TOEFL home test, which means you can take it from home. And this is what I did. I took it from my San Francisco apartment. So today we're gonna talk about things that are new to TOEFL and uh, I'm gonna talk about my experience. So if you're interested, continue watching this video. Now, first of all, as you know, TOEFL test, test your ability to speak, read, understand, comprehend English. So it still has four parts, reading, listening, speaking, and writing. The TOEFL home edition test and the TOEFL test that you can take in the testing centers, they're both good for two years and they're accepted by major universities worldwide. And you really need it if you want to get accepted to your dream university. You might wonder what the whole process looks like when you take your TOEFL from home. When I took my TOEFL home test, I was watched and listened to by a real proctor. A proctor is a guy who ensures that I'm not cheating or whatever. So he looked at me through my webcam, he was uh, listening to me uh, and he was making sure I'm taking the test and not talking to my husband or my mom or whatever. And uh, you can take the test using your laptop, using your computer. It could be Windows, it could be Mac. And yes, you need your camera, you need a microphone. I actually have a camera that has a built-in microphone and you need a speaker in order to take the home edition test. The registration for the TOEFL test is as easy as it was before. You go to eds.org, you select TOEFL, you uh, put in information about yourself, your name, your last name, your passport, and they're gonna ask you some information about your education and why you need TOEFL test. After completing the registration, you're able to select a date for your TOEFL home test or TOEFL testing center test. You were waiting to take the TOEFL test. I think it's an amazing opportunity to take it from home uh, because I just like staying at home. I just like doing things in the convenience of, you know, my room. I'm used to my computer. I'm used to my laptop. I'm used to, you know, especially typing on a keyboard when you need to complete those two essays in your writing part. Typing on a keyboard that you used to you know, it just gives you more confidence and uh, gives you more focus because you're focused on the content itself and not on searching for a key that you need for uh, a particular word. Let's talk about the structure itself. Uh, TOEFL is now 30 minutes shorter than it was before. So I was able to complete my test within around three hours and um, it's still the same. So you start with the reading section, which is for me was one of the most difficult parts because it requires maximum concentration and I'm really really glad it comes first because you come with this fresh energy and you know full of excitement for the test and you get the hardest part first you really need to read into the passages that they give you the text that they give you and um, after that uh, you have your listening part after that you have your 10 minute break so you can walk outside the room or outside your classroom uh, drink water eat focus meditate breathe and then come back for your speaking part and uh, for your writing part the writing part is again still the same it has two essays that are quite long uh, around 150 and 250 words but yeah overall it's a three hour experience and you don't have to come back for another part of TOEFL because I know that there are some tests when you take your reading listening and writing on day one and then you come back for speaking I think this test is taken in one day in actually three hours less than a day less than half a day which is great again if you have so many things on your to-do list when you need your personal statements for universities when you maybe need to take Take another test for your admissions when you need to read a ton of books and take care of your family that's great that you can take your TOEFL in just three hours also very important in terms of preparation TOEFL has recently introduced their free online practice test which is a must for everyone who's taken TOEFL not only from like knowledge perspective and they are using real TOEFL questions from the past tests so you would be getting like 99% match with the experience that you would be getting on your your real TOEFL test. Um, so that's really important because the questions are real. Well, they, they were used in the past because the timing is the same. And I really want you to take this free online test because this would give you an understanding of what this test is about because you really need to focus on the reading. You really need to be attentive during the listening. And during this test, you would understand what are your weakest parts? Where do you need more practice? Where do you feel uncomfortable? 
So this is a must. And TOEFL also has a lot of official materials. And whenever you're preparing for the test, I would also advise you to look at the official materials because again, they're using questions from the past TOEFL tests, which means they're very close to the experience that you will be getting on your actual test day. Now let's talk about my scores. I have them here. It's 114 out of 120. Last time I scored 117. And I think this uh, three point difference is basically just a standard error because my language is pretty much the same. But let's look at what I got. Reading, uh, 30 out of 30. Listening, 29 out of 30. And I know where I made this mistake. Speaking, 27 out of 30. And I also know where I made my mistakes. I was... Um, hesitating in a couple of questions. And uh, I said one phrase and then I corrected myself and I think that affected the score. And then 28 out of 30 on writing. I don't really know anyone who scored 30 out of 30. Uh, my tutor, who is a native speaker, scored 29 out of 30. Overall, these scores are great. Uh, they would get me into Harvard, Stanford. I think the maximum I've seen uh, was Harvard MBA. I think it was 109 uh, back at the time when I looked at it. But yeah, uh, this is totally fine. The score is amazing. One thing regarding the scores, they've introduced a feature called my best scores. So they take your scores from every single test that you've taken from every single part. And then you can take the best scores from each part and send them to your university which is amazing because one day maybe you were better at speaking and another day maybe you were better at reading and then you can just combine those scores and send them to your dream university and uh, this way you're sending your best scores to your dream school. The only thing to note that the scores are valid for two years only so your tests uh, have to be taken in the past two years. Another thing that was brand new, I got my reading and listening scores right after test. So when I clicked finish the test, it was like, ta-da, your reading is 30 out of 30, your listening is 29 out of 30. And if you follow me on Instagram, um, I shared those scores straight away. It takes them around six days to get back to you with your um, writing and speaking scores. If you've taken the home edition test, it might take a little longer. I was able to get my scores in around 10 days. Um, so in 10 days, I opened my ETS account and the scores were there. So if you decided that it is time for you to take the TOEFL test, go to eds.org slash TOEFL, uh, fill in all the information, select the dates. And uh, one important thing, the process for the home test is slightly different because you need that equipment that I've talked about, but they will give you all the instructions, read them carefully, prepare for the test, please prepare for the test, take the online preparation test to really get a feel of what it's gonna be like on the actual test day. I will leave all the links below. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you've already taken your TOEFL test, please comment down below with your score and uh, maybe share some advice that you wanted to give to other test takers. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're not yet subscribed to this channel, hit the red button below and like this video if you've enjoyed the content. I will see you very soon in my next videos. Bye.